Hello there guys, Mr. Dungeon Cat here with another um YouTube video. And uh this is this is gonna be um an update about Starfarer, now known as Star Sector. Um So yeah, the 0.54.1A has been released and they've changed the name to Star Sector. Um not it's it's an okay name. Uh personally I preferred Starfarer, but uh in the email uh that they sent everyone who purchased the game. They said that it was business matters, so I don't know if there was uh, copyright stuff uh, and problems like that. Um, I don't know. But uh, it's, still, it's still a fun game. I haven't actually gotten to play it very um, very much. In fact, I haven't played it in the past month. Well, let's just look at the major items they've uh, changed. So, first of all, they've redesigned the character screen. I'm not going to click on the screenshot right now. I'll show you that in game. Uh, there's the new EMP arc mechanic for the tachyon lance and ion cannon, which pretty much means that um, instead of having to fire at certain pieces on the ship to disable them, just firing those weapons into the ship will start disabling um, various systems. So you could shoot the ship in the side and have the engines go out. So uh, it makes the weapons. Uh, useful, I guess, because before they were kind of just damage uh, weapons. At least that's my point of view. Um, and, of course, lots of bug fixes, and they've made um, modding easier. So that's nice. Now I guess I'll see you in-game, so uh, see you there. Okay, so here we are in-game. Uh, this is just gonna uh, be a short thing to show you what the new screen looks like. So, test one, la di da grab our ship, and this is pretty much what it looks like, so if I just point, put a point in there, one of my aptitude points, uh, I can click here or here and, you know, uh, put my skill points into stuff, and if I click start game, it just launches me, it's C here, uh, shows me the same screen, quite nice, and no space is wasted because when you click on these, or mouse over them, shows you what they do, so very useful, very nice, uh, definitely like this, uh, seems kind of, it seems clean, kind of fresh, so, uh, yeah, next up we have testing out the, uh, Tachyon Lance and, uh, Ion Cannon, I believe, so, uh, I'll see you there. Okay, guys, so here we are, running a, uh, simulation with a giant, a, sorry, a giant ship that has, um, Tachyon Lances, and, uh, the likes, um, Ion Cannons and such, and, uh, just testing this thing out, because it's huge, and unwieldy, but, uh, hey. So first, I guess we have to get close to the guy. Uh, oh boy. on just in time, I guess. And now we want to point towards him, and boom! Don't know how much that did, actually. Did something, though, because he's overloading and turning his shields off. There we go. Actually, how much damage are these doing to his shields? I uh, kind of want to get up close and be able to uh, bash him. Or not bash him, but uh, there we go. We see the we can see the beams going all over his ship, showing that all his weapons have been phased out, or not phased out, but you know, turned off. Also, this thing is really slow. Just allow our flux to go down a bit. Hit R to select him, and turn shields on. I can see how uh, this might be a little boring if you think about it, seeing as it's very slow and the weapons are very slow. If we can get close enough, there we go. 
flame out. How? Ah. Yeah. I'm gonna cut to the big explosion. Here we go, I think this might be it. Uh, we just we had to chase him, and down he goes. Kaboom. Uh, ch was chasing him for a minute or two. Uh, the ship isn't the fastest, but there we go. So, these weapons are very effective at uh, slowing ships down and just allowing you to chase them, as long as their shields aren't too powerful like this guy's were. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.